Hey guys, so here I am starting my video out in a car again. I feel like this is just coming becoming a weekly occurrence. But anyways, um, I'm getting ready to go into Ross and TJ Maxx and Target. I have some birthday gifts that I'm looking for and I have some grocery shopping to do. And so I want to get it done this morning. And so I thought I would just start the vlog off this morning and bring you guys with um, while I'm kind of doing my running a little bit. And then I want to go home and possibly make some muffins today or tomorrow. I'm not sure when that's going to happen for sure. But anyways, I thought I would start the vlog off here and bring you guys with. Um, if I find anything cool, I would definitely show you guys. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. So I just got home, well, I got home, fed Zendaya, she's down for a nap, it's like, it's after 2 o'clock, and I was hoping to be home by like 12.30, so, it, yeah, drug on quite a bit longer than I thought, but that's okay. I thought I would give you guys a haul of what I got, because it's not all groceries, I found some really cute things, and I just want to put a plug in here, I am so excited about a project I have coming up. I'm not sure exactly when it probably won't be this month so it'll probably be February or March at least um because I'm taking my time with it I'm not like I'm not in a hurry to do anything like I'm working on stuff but I'm not in a hurry just because I do get tired pretty easily with being pregnant and all those kind of things so I'm not pushing myself for like deadlines but I am working on a project that I'm so excited for you guys to see it's gonna be a makeover um, project and I think it's gonna be so much fun I'm so excited for it I also will have a spring decor video coming up before too long I know it's still winter well if you live in the north or if you live where it's cold it's still winter um, I haven't taken down any Christmas decor or winter decor and I probably honestly won't minus my Christmas tree for a while just because I don't really have anything in between like it's either spring or winter and I'm not quite in the mood for spring things yet so that being said it's going to be a little bit before I get my spring decorate with me video out but it is coming I promise because I got some stuff today and I will show you guys what I got I'm really excited for this because I have some just ideas about some decor in the kitchen possibly in the bathroom I was hoping to do some changes like in the kitchen and in the bathroom before I do my decorating video um, but I don't think that's going to happen because of the other makeover that I have so that's fine we'll get to it when we get to it but that being said yes I do have some exciting things coming up so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but without further ado let me get into what I found today so as I said I was looking for some gift items as well and I didn't find anything at Ross their decor selection is just kind of rough and like clothes they have a lot of clothes because I kind of like looked at some of the clothes but I told myself I'm not buying any because I don't need Dea um, doesn't need either and so yeah we're good but anyways anyhow so at TJ Maxx I got these cute books they're like well they're just wood but they're made to look like books they say pray trust and wait and then they have a little tie at the top they're like the Ray Dunn brand um, 
I got two of these because one is for me. I've been wanting some of these just for decor for a while. But then the other one is actually a gift. So I have two of these that I got at TJ Maxx. I think they were they were like $9.99. So they are pretty like decently priced for like a bigger decor item. Um, so anyways, that is what I got from TJ Maxx. And they're both the same but they had quite a huge selection so if you've been looking for anything like that they have ones that have like coffee sayings on ones that have like music sayings so if you're looking for different kind of like sayings or whatever to put at different places in your house check out if your tj maxx has any of those um like book decor pieces and the next thing i got this is all from target um i will go through it little by little and show you guys I will start with the gift item I got. So I got um, some gift stuff at Target for my sister-in-law. Um, we have like a birthday celebration going coming up for three of my sister-in-laws. And so I was looking for some things for them today. So my one sister-in-law had wanted a like a metal watering can. So I went to Target and I found this one. It has like a wooden handle. It's like a creamy white color coated. And I thought it was so, so cute. So this is the one gift item i got it's not for me i kind of wish it was but then again i don't really need it so anyways um this is the one thing and then i also got one of their eucalyptus rosemary and geranium candles it smells so good like it just smells mm, it's amazing and it's so cute it has this little like cork top and it just looks like springy and like it's just so cute so anyways i picked up one of those as well and so that's a birthday gift that's not like that's not anything for my spring decor uh video or anything like that but then i will show you guys what else i got and this is all stuff for upcoming videos or projects or whatever so first off i got this cute little wreath it's just a mini one and who knows i might end up getting another one but i just got one today um for use in my spring decor video it is like the perfect size to put on a small wall to hang on a cabinet anything like that these are ten dollars at target right now so um they're like super 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 cute and then i also i also got this sorry guys the lighting is terrible but anyways i also got this cute little um plant it's just like in a white um what's the word pot <laughs> it's in a white pot and it matches the wreath i'm thinking i'm going to use these in the kitchen but i'm not sure um these are five dollars and target has some different ones of these as well but i do have some faux plants from last year and i have a lot of real plants that i want to include in my decor um when i'm decorating so i don't need a ton of faux ones but i wanted another faux one and i thought these were cute since they match the work really well like in the same room or something like that okay next i saw these and i have been keeping my eye open for one of these for quite a while and it's just a simple glass container um it's like half of a quart so it's not even that big but i wanted it to sit by my diffuser with water in it that is what that's for they also had a larger size of these so if you guys are looking for any of these check out target all right the next thing i got is just like random but i got a thing of this pure castile soap i want to try to make my own dish soap um i saw a recipe for it using castile soap which this is like really concentrated stuff and water and essential oils so i'm gonna try it Maybe I'll try it on video and let you guys know how it turns out. We'll see. I'm kind of nervous that it's not going to turn out well. But, um, I mean, I can use this anyways. It's not a problem. But anyways, so I got this at Target to try it out. This was like, I think, $10. I think you use around a third of a cup per recipe of dish soap. So this should stretch quite a while. So we're going to give that a try. Um, the next couple things I got... I checked in the dollar spot and they had these cute pillows that say make yourself at home and I was looking for another like accent pillow to add out here in the living room during my spring decor video so when I saw these for sorry for like five dollars I was like yes they also have the cute stripes on the back so they're reversible if you don't want like the saying out you can turn it around and use the stripes like in a bedroom or or whatever um all right so next that was really loud <laughs> anyhow um next 
I have been wanting a macrame table runner and I actually am not planning on using this for the table. I've been wanting something for the back of my piano. So if you guys have seen my piano up close, like the finish is kind of coming off and flaking, but I don't feel like trying to redo a piano right now or anytime soon. So I always keep something on the back of my piano and I had like a garland strand on it, but obviously that's gonna be going away, that's winter. So I wanted something to just cover it. Um, and I could stack books on the back of it or whatever. So this was at Target. These are, I think these are 30% off right now. So I think it came down to like $22. And if you guys know, like these things are like $40 or more online. So I just went ahead and picked this up at Target because it is for my decorating video. So you guys will see this again in a little bit. All right, and I think I have like two or three more things. So also in the Target dollar spot, I picked up a thing of these. I think these were $3. They're clear glass um, vases. Like if you wanted to stick like a couple like um, flowers or greens in here, they're super small and cute for like small spaces. And I want to work at being a like a more simpler decorator. I don't think that's the way you say it, but I like keeping my decor more minimal. Um, and it's a little bit of a challenge for me to figure out how to do that. But I really like these because there's not color to them. They go with anything. You can use them in a bedroom or a bathroom or a kitchen, living room, on a desk, like wherever. And so I picked up a thing of these because even if you get them at the thrift store, they might be, they probably would be cheaper because they were like a dollar a piece at Target. But um, that's depending if you can find the right vase size and if it's clear and if it's scratched or anything like that. So I grabbed those. And then almost last but not least, I also grabbed this cute sign for keys. We have a bowl right now to put our keys in, which is great, except that it collects everything. <laughs> like, you know, from marbles to... Um, like screws and this that and the other and like I can't don't quite feel like constantly going through it and taking that stuff out um so I'm, we might still use that I'm not sure but I thought like this would be super cute hanging right inside our door um to clip your keys on like the clips are fully functionable um and it would be super easy to find keys then all that kind of stuff so I picked up this in the dollar spot and then Last but not least, I got this basket and this is going to be used in the makeover that I'm doing. I was really considering buying the basket just because I like to try to find mine discounted like at Big Lots or TJ Maxx. But I really wanted this style for the makeover that I'm working on. And even looking online, they are still about the same price as what Target had. So I went ahead and just picked this up from Target. I know that it is going to be super useful for me in the makeover um, that I'm doing. And it has so much character like just to add to the room. It has like a, a wooden base. Um, so I think it'll work well as almost like a decor piece as well as a functional um, basket to put things in. So anyways, I think that is it. Oh, my groceries. I've got groceries yet. Um, but I'll just do like a super quick haul of those because this is getting kind of long. And then I want to get started on some muffins in the kitchen. So I'll show you guys my groceries and then we'll quick get started on making some muffins. All right. So because I picked up some stuff at a different store yesterday, I don't have a huge grocery haul. And I got all my groceries at Walmart. So I'll just go over it real quick. We have diapers for Daya. We have a maternity tank top for myself. Um, we have toothpaste and cough drops in case you guys can't tell I'm losing my voice. So those are necessity um, We have pickles Zendaya's thing right now is pickles. So got to keep stocked up on those we have salad toppings right here We have a pound of ground beef. We have um, Cheddar cheese and Parmesan cheese for a recipe. I'm making this week. We have some um, broccoli florets and then I want to try peas and carrots in like cauliflower rice kind of like a fried rice recipe so I picked up some of that and then we have a banana and then a lemon and some yogurt for my muffins recipe which I will show you all here in a second Okay, 
I got my groceries put away and I have my muffin recipe pulled up and I actually looked for this, was it yesterday? I love baking with you guys in my vlogs and if you don't like that, like leave a comment down below so that I know if you don't like recipes in my vlogs because then I will stop and do like a separate recipe video for those of you who do. But I just enjoy sharing recipes with you guys like in vlog style videos. Um. So anyways, I found this recipe for lemon blueberry muffins and it looks delicious. It calls for Greek yogurt, so I hope it's good because I actually bought this whole thing of plain Greek yogurt because I wanted to buy like a little cup, but all of those were flavored and I needed plain, obviously. So anyways, um, it's super basic. It's just like flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, lemon zest, eggs, yogurt, oil, vanilla extract, fresh lemon juice and blueberries and then for the streusel topping that goes on top you need flour sugar cinnamon and butter so I'm gonna quick get working on this I want these to bake while Zendaya is napping that way yeah that's all taken care of um, I still haven't done my breakfast dishes we kind of just got up this morning and got breakfast and headed out the door and yeah we've been going ever since so but I want to get these baking and hopefully they turn out delicious and I will leave everything in the description box for you guys so if you want to bake them you have the recipe as well I started out first by making the crumbs for the top of the muffins I just added the flour and sugar and cinnamon and salt together and then you add in melted butter but just a side note for you guys this recipe makes so many crumbs for the amount of muffins it makes I think I probably could have only made a fourth of what the recipe calls for as far as the crumbs mixture and still had extra for on top of the muffins. So just a side note, if you make the recipe, definitely you don't have to make a whole entire um, batch, I guess you call it, of crumbs. You can like have it or even make a fourth of what the recipe says to and you'll be fine. After I had the crumbs mixture made and set aside, I went ahead and combined the flour and baking powder and salt, here's where the salt comes in, into a bowl and mixed that all up as well. the dry ingredients mixed I added my sugar into another bowl and then you add your lemon zest into your sugar and mix that well before adding in your eggs and then your oil and the rest of your ingredients into this like more wet mixture. your wet ingredients mixed up you just slowly add them into your dry ingredients and combine it until you have a good batter that is well mixed <music> lastly you take your blueberries and you coat them with just a tiny bit of flour it probably doesn't even have to be a tablespoon to be honest with you and then you mix them together and after they are coated you slowly add them into your muffin batter you have 
open tins or paper, whatever you want to call it. Then you add a couple blueberries on top and then you put your crumbs on top of the blueberries. This recipe for me just made exactly 12 muffins. I made them pretty good size, but you could probably squeeze 13 out of it if you really needed to. I just didn't feel like putting a pan back in the oven for like one muffin. So I just capped it at 12 and they turned out really great and they were super, super delicious. Alright, so my muffins are in the oven baking right now, but I thought I would make this um, homemade dish soap and see how it turns out. I'll have to keep you guys updated because obviously I'm not going to like wash a ton of dishes with it today uh, while I'm vlogging. But I'm going to go ahead and make it, show you guys the recipe. I'll actually include it in the description box. I found it on Pinterest. It's really easy. But yeah, I will just walk you guys through how I'm going to make this soap. So to get started, you're only gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need like a glass soap dispenser. I have one here that I picked up. I think it was like $2. Um, I had just been using it in our bathroom. So I have that. You are going to need some unscented castile soap. I picked this up at Target today, like I said. Um, it's the baby unscented soap. And then you're gonna need some essential oils of choice and some water. And then I just have a funnel here to help get everything in there without spilling it and a measuring cup. to use this soap a lot in between filming and editing this video but the little bit that I have used it I really have liked it the only thing I would say is that it seems kind of watered down to me I feel like I have to use a lot of soap or put a lot in my water to kind of make it work so to speak so I think next time I'm gonna try adding more like three quarters of a cup of castile soap instead of a half cup and kind of see where that gets me if that makes it a little bit better and a little bit stronger I'm just jumping back on to say thank you so much for watching this video I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I don't have much going on except for some housework that needs to get done but I am eating one of these muffins and they turned out so good they're not too sweet or too overpowering with the lemon so I definitely recommend you guys give them a try but thank you so much for coming along with me today and watching my video and if you are new or this is like one of your first videos or you've been watching my channel and you haven't subscribed yet I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button, I really enjoy the community here on YouTube and the group that you guys make up of support for my channel. I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you so much to all of you guys, but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys next week in my next video. Bye guys!